Relax while you stroll through your floriferous garden collecting flowers and statues and making arrangements. <laughs> joining me at Tantrum House Studio D, I'm Melissa Dump. Floriferous is a set collection game for one to four players that plays in about 20 to 30 minutes. It's designed by Steve Finn and Ed Baraff, and Pencil First Games is bringing it to Kickstarter. They sent us this prototype copy to look at. At the beginning of the game, you randomly choose three bounty cards to use and then make a grid with the garden cards and the desire cards. The number of cards will depend on the player count. Players receive a gardener pawn and flower tokens. The game is played over three days. Each day, players will collect five cards to add to their player area. At the end of the game, you'll compare the cards you've collected to the different scoring opportunities, and whoever has the most points wins. When it's your turn, you'll pick an available card in the next column and move your pawn to that spot. The flower cards have several attributes, the kind of flower, the color, and some even have bugs on them. There are other types of cards, like arrangements that need certain attributes, sculptures that score based on majority, and then the smaller desire cards. You'll score points for your desire cards at the end of the game based on the flowers you collected during the game. You can complete a bounty card at the end of a day if you've met the conditions of the card. The earlier you complete them, the more points they're worth. At the end of the game, you'll also get points for the stones you have. One point for every two stones. And whoever has the most stones earns the cup of tea, which is another two points. I find it interesting how turn order changes constantly throughout the day because it's determined from top to bottom of the column. So if there's a card you really want, but you're on a lower row, you're sitting there really hoping another player doesn't take it. You might even take a card at the top that isn't as good, but then you'll have a better choice for the cards in the next column. The game does give more incentive to the cards in lower rows by having stones on them. And the cards at the very bottom are the scoring cards. Some of the cards at the top are even face down. You won't know what they are until you pick them. There's variability with how the cards come out in the grid and which bounty cards are selected. I've played with two, three, and four players. And personally, I liked it better at the higher player counts because there are more choices available in the columns. We also played with the early spring mini expansion which will be available for free to Kickstarter backers. The expansion gives players a little more control. Each day you can play one of your special cards to either peek at a face down card, swap two cards in the same row, or swap two cards in the same column. Using one of those cards at the right time can really help you out. I think this game really fits with the other games in the pencil first line like Herbaceous, Sunset Over Water, and the Whatnot Cabinet. It has the same designers, including solo gameplay from Keith Mateka. But this one has a new illustrator, Clementine Camperdow. Her illustrations are great. The flowers are so bright and beautiful, and the sculptures are whimsical. The iconography also works well. The flowers and bugs have icons, and each color has its own shape. I've enjoyed the other Pencil First games that I mentioned, and I really liked this one too. Sometimes you have tricky decisions. Do you go to the bottom row for a desire card? That could be worth a lot of points. Do you try to get a lot of bugs to complete the bounty cards? Do you try to stay near the top of the column so you have more choices on your turn? Lots of things to think about. So if you're looking for a casual weight set collection game with beautiful art, then be sure to check out Floriferous from Pencil First Games on Kickstarter. <laughs>